You can see the left stick is just drifting off to the right. Absolutely horrible, horrible stick drift on this controller. We have a 12.5 and a 10.8. Ew, look at that finger cheese. When the joystick has been removed from the PCB board, sometimes it leaves behind some melted plastic on the PCB. It's extremely important to remove that or it can cause some misalignments of the joystick when reassembled with the new sticks. If the joystick is not perfectly centered and it's slightly at a tilt, that means one side of the joystick will have a shorter travel distance than the other side of the joystick. So if you're playing a video game and you go to look left or look right, one side of that direction of the joystick will spin and rotate faster. It acts as like an increased sensitivity. With the PCB board perfectly clean and desoldered, it's time to install the new Case Silver joysticks. What I've noticed with the Case Silver joysticks and pretty much almost all joysticks on the market, there's like a convexed area of the joystick at the very bottom from the spring tension causes the plastic to slightly warp almost the size of human hair. But it's enough to cause a misalignment of the joystick and can cause one side of the joystick to be shorter than the other if the joystick is not properly installed. So I apply a little bit of pressure to the joystick on both sides and all four corners to allow that joystick to sit completely flat and flush against the PCB board. So that way the joystick is properly aligned when I install these joysticks. And you'll notice that that joystick is perfectly level across the PCB board. For better positioning of the joystick, I find it's better to install the gimbal first without the sensors so that way I can make sure that there's proper alignment on the joystick and having the absolute perfect centering of these joysticks. Then I solder on all of the TMR sensors onto the PCB board and clean up the board of any leftover flux. Then I add additional silicone to all of the moving parts of the gimbal so that way it prolongs the lifespan of the joystick. And then I install the brand new caps and go through the calibration process of the joystick's end zones and the center dead zone of the joystick. So that we get absolute perfect centering. I go through and even fine tune the centering of the joystick. So that way it calibrates within 1% of the joystick when flicking it in any direction. So drop us a follow and if you're interested in getting your controller repaired today, please visit devicedrop.com.